Good morning and welcome to the Lee Valley Boat Centre. Today we'll be going through everything you need to know about our 10-man boat, Mr. Fox. We'll be going through fire safety, water safety, everything for the inside of the cabin, as well as steering and driving at the back, as well as any other pieces of equipment that are located around the boat. Now first off is fire safety. At the front of the boat you have a fire extinguisher. Towards the back of the boat is another fire extinguisher as well as a fire blanket. It's ABC powder in the fire extinguishers so you can use it on any fire. Only use them to clear an exit so that you can escape the boat. Never use it to fight the fire itself, only to keep yourself safe. You have On board the boat, you have a sink as well as a full tank of fresh water. Now, you have hot water as well as cold. Your cold water is not drinking water unless it's being boiled. So I would always recommend that you bring your own water and drink that instead. Your hot water will get extremely hot as it takes heat directly from the engine. So as it runs throughout the day, it just gets hotter and hotter. So please be very careful when you're washing your hands or you're washing anything up, especially with young children around. On board the boat as well is a fridge with a freezer section as well. Um, there are controls on the inside of the fridge. Please do not adjust these. They're set to a, a, a level to save our batteries. So just leave them at the level that they're set at. Also on board the boat is a four ring gas hob and oven. To light your hob, you've got your four control switches on the left hand side. You've got a set of matches on board as well and you'll need to light them manually. So please be very careful of your fingers when doing so. To begin with, you've got your control switch here. You leave it pressed in for a few seconds before and after lighting, and then you light up with your matches, like so. Once it's lit up, keep it held in for two seconds, and then you can release. Always make sure you turn it off when you've finished using it so that nobody brushes past and burns themselves. You have a grill as well as an oven on board. Now to light the grill, it's this switch on the far right hand side. Much the same as the hob, you need to leave it pressed in for a few seconds before and after lighting. So you'll turn it to the halfway position, which is the full flame. Keep it held in for two seconds light your match and then light the fire then after two seconds you can release just like so once it's lit you can then close the front always make sure you turn it off when you're finished using it to save on gas You have an oven. To, to light the oven, you need to push your, the control switch in and turn it all the way to the S position located there. You'll then hold it in for two seconds whilst you light the oven, and then after two seconds, you can release it. Remember, always turn it off when you're finished using it. So to light your oven, light your match, Turn this all the way around to the S position whilst being held in. Go to the back and then slightly put the, uh, the match into the back of the flame. Once it starts, you can release the switch. When you're finished using it, always make sure you turn it off, which is the upright position. Located on the boat as well are your cupboards which contain all of your glassware, cutlery, crockery, as well as pots and pans. Please always make sure you wash them up when you've finished using them. On the boat, you have a radio as well, which uses a CD, has Bluetooth connectivity, as well as a three and a half mil jack, as well as a USB point. At the back of the boat is your bathroom. We'll just come through this door here and you have a black foot lever on the left hand side of your toilet. You just push it down with your foot, hold it for a few seconds and then release. 
always make sure that the lever has come back up to the upright position so as not to keep filling your waste tank with your fresh water. Above your toilet is your electrical control panel. You'll need to leave your water pump on, your horn on, your radio, as well as your bilge pump and your fridge should you be using it. Always make sure that if you have your cabin lights on, you turn them off when you turn your engine off so as not to run your batteries down. In the middle of your boat, you have your, uh, some equipment. You've got two mooring pins, two lock keys, as well as a hammer. Now, with your mooring pins, you'll use those if you can't find any rings alongside the river. Um, you'll knock them in roughly halfway up the pin tie your front and your back rope to them and then make sure that the boat doesn't drift off by giving a little push. Um, you've got your lock keys which will be used and explained at a later date in another video and you also have a tariff sheet if you happen to lose or break anything as well as if you leave any washing up or any damaged upholstery. On the roof of your boat you've got um, a few bits and pieces of equipment as well as your ropes which are located in the center, at the back, and at the front. With your front and your back rope, you use those as security ropes to tie yourself down when you're mooring up. And then with your center rope, you use this as your control rope to pull yourself in or backwards and forwards as you require. Always make sure that when you're not using this rope, that it stays nicely coiled up at the back of the boat, free of any obstructions, so that when you're pulling into more or you're coming into a lock, you can just grab it and step off. You don't have to climb up and down and put yourself at risk. On the top, on the roof of your boat, you have a barge pole as well as a boat hook. With your barge pole, with your barge pole, use it as a push, not as a lever, so as not to snap it. And with your boat hook, use it to hook in any objects, never a person or an animal, because it's quite sharp at the other end. You do happen to have a life ring on the roof of the boat for that. If at any point today, somebody from this boat, from another boat, or even from the bank side, happens to fall into the water, you'll use this for rescue. First of all, you go into neutral on the throttle control, which is that position as it is now. You'll then throw the life ring towards the person, but not at them keeping hold of the orange rope that's in the center. And keeping hold of the orange rope in the center. Once they're secure in the life ring, start to pull them on board and bring them to the back of the boat here, where you've got the flat, large surface area to get them on and off easily. Always make sure that the person is brought inside, gotten dry and kept warm, and always look out for the signs of shock, because the water does stay cold all year round. On the back deck of the boat, you also have a gas locker. You remove the wooden top, like so, and that gives you access to the gas bottle. Your cutoff switch is just here. If you happen to have a fire on board, or if you have a smell of gas at any point, just turn it clockwise to shut the gas off. It only feeds the hob in the oven, so there's nothing else on board that you need to worry about with gas. To start your boat, at the back here is your ignition and your other control pieces. To start, you'll start in the off position, which is straight up on your keys. Turn it once to the left onto heat. You need to hold it there for about 10 seconds while that beeping takes place. And then after a quick 10 count, you'll turn it over to the start position located on the right hand side. The engine will kick in and then turn it back into the run position and leave it there. If you sit in the off position, which is upright, you aren't charging your batteries. You always want to make sure that this green light is on whilst your, whilst your engine is running. To stop the boat, hold the black button in underneath for two seconds. The engine will cut out and then turn the key to the off position like so. You have a temperature gauge just above your keys. 
Keep an eye on that throughout the day, especially on hot summer days. If it gets excessively high and the control panel starts beeping at you, pull along to the side, turn your engine off, and then give us a phone call, just as not to overheat the engine. You have your header tank just at the bottom here. You have no need to interact with this at all throughout the day. It itself does not get hot, but the water contents inside do. So if you release the black cap on the top, you release all the pressure from the engine, which is all the hot water. So please do not interact with this at all throughout the day. Now for acceleration and steering, you have your throttle lever at the back, as well as your steering tiller just over here. To go forward, you just push your throttle lever forwards. To go into neutral, you pull it to the middle position, like so. And then for braking and reverse, you pull it backwards. Now, your brake and reverse are much more powerful than forwards for emergency stopping. So do use it cautiously and don't go all the way back into reverse unless it's an absolute emergency. Otherwise, take it nice and slowly. To steer, you use your tiller arm at the back here. You pull it left to go right and right to go left. Be careful not to turn too far on this because when you do go past a point, you will be starting to hit your rudder against the propeller. So no more than that angle either direction. You will only be able to steer whilst you have power running forward on your throttle control. In neutral, the boat will continue to drift in the direction it was going. And in reverse, the boat will go wherever it goes. There is no control in reverse, only going forward. Take it nice and gentle with your steering. You don't need any large movements. Nice and slowly, turn little and early. When you're driving today on the river, you'll always need to stay on the right hand side and stay at least two meters away from the edge just so you don't get caught up on any shallow ground or any weed banks. Also, whilst you're in motion today, nobody is allowed on the roof. This is to allow the driver to see at all times and to make sure nobody is knocked off. You also over adjust the weight by putting it at the top, which might cause somebody to fall in from any rocking. Thank you for watching the video today. If you have any questions or queries about the boat, our phone number is located just here, as well as on our website over here. Whilst you're out today on the boat, if you have any problems or queries um, regarding the river, don't hesitate to phone us. Thank you very much.